But I'm finding that it's a lot easier to do this, actually putting silicon in the middle of this, is picking this whole row up. If you started these correctly, you should be able to pick this whole row up just by picking this, this part up from the end. And what I'm gonna do is basically, I stopped at about this cell with silicon. And I'm just gonna put quarter size silicon underneath each one. And I can tell where to put it based on this other column over here. So, I mean, it's good to have the other column already sitting there so you can see where you need to put the silicon. And we're just gonna basically just lay it down on top of silicon and press lightly on each one of these cells. And I just found that to be a whole lot easier than trying to pick each one up individually and putting the silicon under there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start doing that now. Get my silicon, my cock gun. And just again, put a quarter size amount. And you might have to do a little cleanup just in case. Put a little bit too much silicone. And you don't necessarily have to use silicone, it's just something that you may, may have extra that you can use. We just want to try to help it to stay nice and tight to the ply board. And if you're on a budget, I mean, why not? Just use some of the material that you still have left on. Again, like I said, if you solder these correctly, you should be able to pick them up like I am. But again, be fragile. I mean, they are fragile, so be careful with the solar cells. You don't want to break them at this point. And it's not like the, the glue dries immediately as you put these down, so you can't move them around. Because I'm going to put these towel spacers back in here just to make sure that they're still lined up the way I want them to. And you have to sometimes be careful with the towel spacers as well. I think I cracked one solar cell one time with the towel spacer. It was too close to the solar cell when I was trying to put it in inside the peg board. So again, once we get done with this, we're gonna do the same thing with the second column. And again, as you can see, it's just a whole lot easier doing it this way. And you just press lightly on the middle. Make sure it's bonded with the silicone behind it. And again, I recommend using gloves. I mean, because you just don't want a lot of fingerprints on the solar cells. But I mean, it's not really going to affect the, the sun power you receive or the, the source of power that it can receive if it has some fingerprints on it. Alright, so it feels like that's nice and tight. and then we can start to move on to the next row. I'm just gonna go ahead and take these back up because again, I, I can't really pick up the other column with these towel spacers on here. All right, for this step, I'm gonna start connecting the bus wire to the tab wire, and I have it aligned the way I want it. And I just recommend you go ahead and do that first before you start to solder it together. And for this, I would recommend trying to use some solder, because, I mean, we definitely want this to be connected. All right, and as you can see, I did leave some tabbing wire on the end. I'm just gonna cut that off when I get done soldering everything together. I'm just going to start with this first column and I'm going to take some solder and just combine the tab wire to the bus wire. Alright, and I just put a 
a little extra because I want again I want this to be connected fairly well and then I'm just going to start to do the next one and again it's just recommend you get a better soldering iron than what I have just makes the job a little harder when you, when you don't but you can't get the job done Yeah, that's a pretty good connection there. Again, you just test see if you can pull it up. If you can pull it up like this without it breaking off or anything, then you have a enough solder on it and it's connected fairly well. And then we're just gonna work on the second column and do the exact same thing. So just take some more solder. Make sure your bus wire is straight again the way you wanted it. Make sure your tapping wire is straight as well. And let's push this under the dress a little bit. still connected correctly because we want to fix everything that could possibly happen as far as having a loose connection somewhere right now instead of waiting later and then I just go ahead and cut off the rest of these tavern wires to make it look a little neater than this and we probably can put silicone on the back of the bus wire just to hold the bus wire down you really don't need it but I mean it just helps to hold it down if you want to do that all right, so I just checked with my voltage meter to just make sure that it was still having the right voltage coming through the solar cells, and it was. Again, it's just recommended you do that before you continue. So now I'm just gonna start trimming off the access tabbing wire here. And I'm probably just gonna go ahead and put a little silicone, not too much, on the back just to help it remain flat to the pegboard here. I'll take my caulk gun again here. And get an idea where it's laying. And raise it up again and just put a just probably a little dab. Not too much. I mean we don't want too much silicone here. And that should probably put a little here in the middle. Alright. Just gonna fold that back down on the top of it. And make sure whatever you're using to uh, glue either the solar cells down or the the bus wire like I'm doing make sure it's not going to affect the current or the voltage coming through the solar cells. You might just have to hold this down for a minute just to give the silicon time to dry a little bit. This bus wire is pretty thick and it's a little harder to flex it as well as you can the tabbing wire. And again we're just going to do the same exact thing with the third column as well so this just gives you a general idea what you need to do for the next row of the next column of solar cells. Hey guys to speed up the process of me getting the rest of the videos out just subscribe to this video as it does show me you guys are interested and I try to speed up the process of getting the rest of the videos out as I do have to edit these and I do try to make them interesting so again just subscribe to the video and I try my best to get them out a little quicker for you guys